feedback shortly. Now to our top story, as Jacob says, Kenya police didn't begin their campaign for the hunt of the Calf Confederations Cup on a very good note. Of course, Ethiopian coffee offering a stern challenge right here at home. While away in Juba, Gorma here fell to a South Sudanese club. Take a look at how police fired blanks against Ethiopian coffee at Nyayo. Kenya Police FC men's and women's teams all but ready for the 2024-2025 season after strengthening their rosters with 18 new players, 10 for the men's squad and 8 for the women's. The new players were officially unveiled on August 10th during the police open day celebration. And of course we'll be getting the right footage shortly but uh, uh, Shitera, mm -hmm. to get us going, we are talking of CAF Confederations Cup. And police, of course, being held to a barren home draw. What do you think are, are their chances even as they begin this campaign? I think it's their maiden appearance uh, at the Continental Platform. And um, what uh, the performance they registered yesterday is a positive uh, performance compared to... Positive with a barren draw at home? Yeah, yeah, it's positive for a team that is making a debut uh, in such a, continue, uh, a big platform. Mm -hmm. uh, remember Gormahia, who are veterans uh, at that level. Mm -hmm. They have uh, won that trophy before, mm -hmm. uh, formerly known as Mandela Cup. They fell to South Sudan. Uh, you see, uh, I didn't see Gormahia showing positive positiveness uh, from the word go when they lost uh, their matches at the Sekafa Club Championship. So to me, uh, give it to the police, give it to, to, to the formation by Salim Babu. Uh, Ethiopian sides are not an easy one and um, uh, we have uh, traversed those areas. Uh, you, you, you remember the St. George, George's, they used to perform very well uh, in these tournaments and their first appearance, I should uh, congratulate them because uh, going back to Ethiopia, the Sababa, if they can surprise them because uh, it's a team that will be under pressure uh, from their fans uh, back at home in Addis Ababa. And I'm very positive that uh, Kenya police will register uh, good results. Uh, their first appearance, a draw, not so bad. Uh, there are several appearances, a defeat against Al Merak uh, of South Sudan. Very bad showing from Gorma here. Very bad showing from Gorma here, and I can't uh, agree more. Uh, South Sudan is uh, basically a new kid on the block. Mm. Uh, if we would be struggling against a team from the, the, the bigger Sudan, or S Sudan itself. Yeah, talk it, of Al, Al Hilal, Al Merak. Absolutely, it yeah. will make sense. It will make but but sense. Gorma here, a giant for that matter, losing to an opposition from South Sudan is here. Does that showcase how low our standards have, have gone down? Let me also, f let me first uh, congratulate P uh, Police FC for at least a positive start being their first time into these continentals. Uh, then also to say that uh, we cannot look down upon uh, teams from South Sudan. This uh, team, uh, El Marek, yeah, and uh, then uh, it, they have showed what they can do even in the in the in the recent uh, tournaments like Sekafa, and uh, look at how God has played since uh, the the end of last season. It, there was a very poor show at the Sekafa Championship. You know, mm -hmm. they didn't show anything positive. Of course, we we expected that they were to go to to Enugu, Nigeria, and have uh, some other uh, preparations. They didn't do that, and uh, we are seeing what some of us have been see, saying before that. The competition locally for Gor has been a little bit easier, such that when they go to the Continentals, is a different ball game altogether. Uh, we have been talking about the, ki the kind of uh, squad Gor has. For many years, uh, Gor has been known for uh, scouting and bringing on board the best players, even in the region. That is not the case anymore, if I was to say that. Now, look at some of the uh, key players who even uh, contributed to the success of last season as they won the title. Benson Omala, the top scorer of the Kenyan Premier League, is not with the team anymore, right? He, uh, he has joined a, a team in, in Lebanon. Now, 
talk about uh, Roni Onyango, one of the now the regulars in the Arambi Stars. We all know his kids. He was not part of the team that went to, to, to Juba. So when you look at all those dynamics, then you understand why God is not uh, doing what you expect. And uh, I pity the coach, um, uh, Niva, mm. because uh, if he has not been told, Gore at Mahia fans are not very patient when losses keep on coming and coming and coming. So I hope that maybe uh, next week there can be a turnaround. But uh, honestly, uh, in terms of squad, uh, God does not have the kind of squad that uh, can push them to a bigger heights, especially at the Continentals. And actually, that's what I was going to bring in. And as you've rightfully pointed out, as it last week, uh, reports actually filtered through that uh, Benson Omala, supposedly their lead striker, has left Kenya for Lebanon. Uh, and again, it raises a fundamental question. When you want to go conquer Africa or do well there, you'd keep your best players. Two, if a player is to turn professional, and we understand the quest to probably to, to better their lives, is really Lebanon the destination to go to? Then two, as you answer it, does this, this probably uh, show that uh, go really have no ambitions in doing well in this competition? when you lose your best goal? Um, I'll start by saying that um, um, money is sweet. Very sweet. And if you see a, a place... <laughs> <laughs> very sweet. Money is, money is very sweet whereby you can just let your player go to a place where it is not actually safe for him as per now because there's a lot of, a lot of things that is happening in those areas. You see what is happening in the Middle East. You see what is happening in Israel. You can see what is happening. There's a lot of things whereby if that offer would have come to the table, I think the one thing they would have they will have done is to see the safety of the player first. In fact, that is, uh, Rambe Starlets and Anjala failed to complete a move to Israel mm -hmm. because of exactly what you're talking about. Yes. But now Kenya's top scorer <laughs> As, uh, as left there. for Le Lebanon. When you are going to the, like, it, that is, CAF, uh, it's international stage. When you're going to the international stage, I wish uh, Omala would have stayed for this season to play for the CAF. And uh, because they have a, a one, they have a, they signed a, again another uh, striker who has 13 goals from the previous uh, uh, previous um, uh, league he was playing with. I think is, is it in them? Is, this, is it? Uh, I think he's um, from uh, um, not Senegal. The, um, just around around East Africa. But uh, again, for me, um, I think they will have waited for that because. He had uh, 19 goals, and you're going in the international stage. You have not even tested the waters of the new signings you've done uh, as a striker. And again, the safety of the player comes first. As I said, as I started saying this, uh, this statement, money is very, very, very sweet. Swila, before you, you move on, eh? mm. you see, we, let's not make it uh, to, to appear all doom and gloom as far as uh, Omala is concerned. Because uh, number one, we are talking about money. I, I am on record here saying that... Uh, if you, you top the, the, the scoring charts in a in Kenyan league mm. and you have been in that level for two, three seasons, then the best thing for you to move when uh, Omala's age was right for him to move. Sometimes I know the desperation of players to make a move when, uh, when it's not uh, working well. So the, the, the question of safety, um, as much as I agree with you, the truth of the matter is that uh, w there are people who are playing there and he actually played, I think I saw one of the matches he played and scored, meaning that uh, if, if he can, be, he can do projects back home. You see, Swila, what has been happening around here so is... Borrowing, he's borrowing a leaf from Olunga? Or maybe, and because, you see, uh, the issue is football is a short-term uh, ca career. And uh, if you're not sure then, and you say, I'm staying at Gore, uh, you're not making a lot of money, then what happens after you retire? Mm. So I, I think uh, what we should pray and wish is that in the contract that he has signed, because we have not seen the details, it allows him maybe to make a quicker move, maybe to better leagues. Mm. But it's always good to start from somewhere, because I know there are people who have started. You see, like what has happened with uh, Ayub Timbe, one of the top players we have in this country. He has been <coughs> in some of those countries, yes. but he keeps on moving and moving mm. because it's better to start somewhere. So we wish Omala all the best it's, and we hope that he can make a it's here, it's here. I'm not saying that it's a, a, a bad move. We really support the move. But to, uh, even the, our, our government said people who are living in that country should come back home because of the safety. So I'm like, why let the player go there when it is not a safe place for him to stay there? Shitera, wrap up this conversation for mm. us, but mm. I want you to tackle the question. Season in, season out. Mm. 
it's more of a procession for Kogalo to the title mm. every season. Mm. Since last time, actually, they won the title and didn't go to this competition mm. because of uh, uh, some irregularities. The, not irregularities, <laughs> but rather, <laughs> rather poor administration. Yeah, it's an irregularity. It. Poor and two, and two, a goal just going here to make up the numbers. I don't really see the zeal to compete reach the group stages, go the quarters and challenge for this trophy. It, it, it's, it's so predictable. It's a, a pattern, we're going to win the title. We're going to go to the preliminaries. If we are lucky enough, we go to the first round and we're kicked out. Business as usual, again, we win the title and the cycle continues. I think um, I heard clearly uh, when the CS Sports was being um, interviewed in Parliament, and I talked of how low uh, the Premier, Kenyan Premier League has sunk. And he was giving an example of, uh, I think, 1997-98, when he could clearly name uh, the full squad of Eldoret KCC and the reserve. I remember at that time we used to have uh, the likes of Anthony Shikubu, uh, Niki Akama, Max Rengo. I would also name them, uh, and even the subs. Uh, Madara United and Jonathan Niva, I could name them, uh, Asman Gaiwa, uh, Francis Kimanzi, uh, Seif Mutie, Morris so Now, yes. I'm just giving uh, uh, how low we have sunk. Mm. If the CS can name 11 Eldoret KCC player, a team that we, do, we no longer have, and in fact he's a Gorma here fan, uh, he, he, he is concerned with Kenyan football. How did we reach here? Gormahia winning the title since, I think, 2012. Uh, there has been a ceremonial uh, exchange between Tasca and Gormahia since then for a decade now. And I want to believe that uh, we are not doing justice to the Kenyan football. And what I see at Kenya Police now is really encar encouraging and that Gormaya cannot uh, relax this season knowing that there is someone who is knocking at their door. Absolutely. So in my view, uh, I think uh, we really need to invest in this football. Okay. It feeds our, 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 our Kenyan uh, talent. As you talk, uh, the whereabouts of Austin Odiambo too at mm. Gormaya, uh, uh, not known. So... Uh, we, 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 we also need to uh, talk of holding our best players, holding on to them. Absolutely. Look at clubs. Giving them a good, the way good they contract. Their holding players. them, it's like giving them a you good know, contract and good money. You always think you're a best player, but you can't, you, you are taking Matatu like me. Invest in good players by giving them no, good you don't contract. Take Matatu. You see, you see, you see <laughs> Suila, there's something that Shitera has mentioned there. Eh? A, a little bit of the topic, but very important. And maybe I think this can be picked by the FKF going to the new season. Mm. You know, the CS, uh, Murkom and talked about the, the, the change that we have seen. Now people are not able even to name the stars of their local mm -hmm. clubs. Mm -hmm. And as much as we talk about other factors, we can also include the foreign leagues factor. Correct. That time, the, the accessibility, you know, and the reach of the, for example, the EPL was not the same as it is today. Correct. Now, one thing, because it is here with us, we can change it uh, easily. The idea is to make sure that as we plan for our fixtures locally, we also consider what is happening on the other side. The other side. So that we don't, for example, put uh, a Gormahia AFC match when Manchester City is playing Arsenal. Arsenal yeah. So that you don't have anybody going to the stadium. Mm -hmm. So that uh, those things are always done. You know, Absolutely. time is, you can even have almost lunchtime kickoff and you take care of both. Okay, and even, and even you, can, you, can, you can creatively mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. bring in the aspect of uh, w watching matches in the stadium. Uh, you can set up uh, some screens where people would, after Gormaya FC Leopards match, mm -hmm. would watch a Manchester United uh, Chelsea match in the screen at the Nyao Stadium. Yes, yeah, Absolutely. bringing bringing fans in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the stadium. All, it's, You'll contribute that when you get to the story. <laughs> Just for that, uh, Zita. Soccer fans.